Hello, my name is Paul Geelan. I'm an ocularist from Western Australia and I work at Moorfields Eye Hospital in Dubai. This is the fourth talk in a series of called Adjusting and Adapting to Eye Loss, which is based around a mind map to help people come to terms with eye loss. And today we're going to talk about monocular vision. What does it mean for someone when they lose an eye? How's it going to affect their vision? It's going to affect many parts of their life, but this is specifically about vision and living with monocular vision. And to help with this, so I get a better understanding of what it's like, I'm going to put a patch on my eye, which will help me explain it all a little bit better. Right, it's interesting, not very comfortable, but here you go. So, when someone loses an eye, you have two eyes. If you lose one eye, you would expect that you lose 50% of your vision. But this is not strictly correct because the eyes are just the windows that the light comes through. And the message gets sent to the brain and it's all interpreted and we deal with it with the different parts of our brain. So really, if you lose an eye, what do you lose? Well, really, if I go and bring my arms in sideways here, ooh, it's quite a lot. I think the patch comes across too much, but really what you lose is about 20% of your field of vision. So I can see my hand here and this hand across here. So this is what you lose. So it's really only 20% of your vision, 20 to 25%, depending on how big your nose is. And this can affect you in many ways. So one thing that you notice is when you're in a shopping centre, a crowded shopping centre, you'll often have people walk up and you'll bump into them on this side and they'll think you're being rude and you might get accused of being a bit rude and you just have to explain, look, sorry, I've got an artificial eye. It also affects you in uh, with driving. So with driving, you've got to be aware that if you want to look across over your shoulder here, you need to really use your mirrors and, uh, and be aware of what's around you. So you can drive when you have an artificial eye. There are just a few tricks that you need to learn and you just need to be more aware and more cautious. Uh, with driving, we recommend that you start off taking short trips. Uh, things like judging the distance of the car in front of you may be a little bit difficult. So you'll probably be overcautious to start off with. Uh, with night driving, some people tell me that shadows can take on a life of their own and glare can be a real problem. So a lot of people with artificial eyes choose not to drive at night, but you're not restricted from doing it. You just also need to be more careful. Something else that people only ever do once because they learn from the first time, but you're driving along, you get a bit of an itchy eye and you go rub your eye and the road disappears. That um, comes as quite a surprise to people the first time it happens and uh, you just learn to be aware of that. We do recommend with your mirrors, you can get these small little mirrors which are concave and you can actually see, get a wider field of vision because really it's, it's that blind spot just over your shoulder here where you might get a motorcycle coming along there and you've got to change lanes and that could cause problems. Something else I find when people are driving along and they're social and they want to talk and so if you've got someone over here and you look around to talk to them here, you're not looking at the road anymore and you're really distracted. And when you move like that, what you tend to do is you tend to turn the car as well. I've been in a car a couple of times with people with artificial eyes when they're driving and I, some of them can be a bit scary. So just don't be sociable. When you're driving, focus on your driving. With sports, there are some sports where this can be an advantage. So when you have monocular vision, you have true line of sight. You're seeing with one eye and so for things like target sports, it is a big advantage. Um, the Australian Championships for snooker was played out between two people who both had an artificial eye. And when we published this story, someone from England who also played in the championships over there and got up into the finals also had an artificial eye. So really it is quite a, a big advantage for seeing true line of sight. The two things that you have with the vision, one of them is the field of vision, as I mentioned. The second one is the binocular vision. So how do you judge distances? When you um, wake up after an operation to have an eye removed and you've got to pour a juice, you'll often just miss the glass altogether. You just can't judge fine things like this. With the depth of vision, you learn tricks to actually adapt to that. The field of vision is a bit more difficult. People tell me even if they're born with one eye, they get more bruises on the shoulder from walking through doorways. Uh, when they're in shopping centres, they do need to keep someone on that side just to, if they're walking with someone, keep them on the blind side so they can sort of fend off for them. And 
even things like you're sitting at a table. If you're sitting at a table and you've got someone on this side and someone on this side, if you need to talk to the person on this side, you need to turn your back on the person over here. So we recommend sit at the head of the table and then you've got people on either side of you and you don't have to be rude and turn your back on anyone while you're doing it. There's lots of little tricks to learn with monocular vision and we recommend that uh, you read uh, a couple of books. There's A One-Eyed View of Life and there's also Adjusting and Adapting to Eye Loss, The Mind Map. We also have a book that we publish for people who are about to lose an eye. Uh, it's called A Different Perspective, Your Guide to Eye Loss and Recovery. In this book, we talk about the operation and what's involved with that and going home after eye surgery. We also have stories of eye loss where patients have talked about their experiences uh, of uh, recovery and how they're getting on with their lives after eye loss. And we also have a, a section called Adapting to Monocular Vision. So in this uh, section, we talk about basically a lot of the things that we've talked about in this video. And for more information, you can go to the website artificialize.net, look at the resources pages, and we have a lot of the, uh, there's other books and uh, pamphlets and brochures available there. There's a whole lot more that I could talk to you about this. As I say, please read the book. But uh, yeah, it is interesting learning to live with one eye. I'm really looking forward to taking this patch off. It does bother me. But uh, yeah, it's an interesting subject and I hope this helps. Thank you very much.